The nutrition facts label is pretty confusing for most people, so today I just want to focus on the real top portion of the food label and give some basic tips on how you can get started reading a food label. One of the most important things to look at is the serving size. Um, most labels are going to have them in standard measures, so it's pretty easy to read and it's very comparable from one similar product to the next, which makes it nice when you're looking at different labels from different products. So look at the serving size and then look at the servings per container right below that, which tells you how many are actually in that entire package. And then think about what you actually consumed. So in this package, it's 28 crackers. Well, if I ate 28 crackers, then everything else listed is pretty comparable. But if I had more than that or less than that, I'd need to adjust the calories and all the other nutrients based on how much I actually consumed from this particular package. The other important thing to look at is calories and calories from fat. So when we look at the calories in this product, 130, and the serving size is 28. So if I had 28 crackers, I'd know it's 130 calories. But if I had double that, I'd need to double it so that I can also look at my calories from fat and determine what percentage of my calories are coming from fat. Standard recommendation is to consume less than 30% of our calories from fat in a typical day. So if I take the 30 calories from fat here, divided by the 130 for this product, it's 23% of the calories coming from fat. So it may fit into a healthy diet for me. But again, you need to compare this to what you're actually consuming in a typical day.